if you have a uh, RV, whether it has a generator or not, um, more than likely, if it doesn't have an inverter charger, it's going to at least have a converter in it. If that converter fails, or and or if you're just looking for an upgrade, um, I would definitely recommend going with an inverter charger. Uh, if you have a coach that doesn't have a generator, a travel trailer or something like that, uh, you, you don't have AC power unless you take it to a campsite and plug in or you use a portable generator of some sort, but you're not, you're not going to have AC power any other time. Uh, when replacing your converter, um, you're going to get quite a few benefits from that. You're going to have available AC power in the coach at any time with, within the capacity of the batteries in the inverter. Um, and you're going to gain a high quality battery charger. Most converters that come in the tra travel trailers and coaches today um, are not very good chargers, which are not good for the batteries. Batteries are very expensive nowadays, and uh, you're better off to spend some extra money on a good inverter charger that will take care of the batteries and make them last a lot longer. Uh, a good charger is, is worth its weight in gold when it comes to taking care of batteries. Um, there's a lot of benefits to having an inverter charger on the trailer or RV. Um, if you have a residential refrigerator that you're running with it, uh, if it's a coach with a generator, you would have to start the generator periodically or leave the generator running uh, with an inverter charger. It's fully automatic. So if the generator is not running, uh, you could just go to the microwave, pop something in the microwave, warm it up, uh, you don't have to worry about starting the generator. Uh, another thing is if you do run into a situation where you have to run your generator all the time, you've got maintenance costs on the generator plus fuel. Uh, whereas if you have a good inverter charger, you're going to cut your runtime back to about a quarter or a third of the time that you uh, are used to running the generator. The Freedom XC is, is only a few hundred dollars more than your standard converter. Uh, it's not that much more of a price to pay considering the conveniences that you get when running an inverter charger. You can run your regular appliances within the capacity of the Freedom XC. Uh, plus the Freedom XC is going to have a built-in charger uh, that's going to be better than the converter. A lot better quality charger which will maintain the batteries a lot better and make them last longer.